Okay, guys. <laughs> I've just got to get in on here this morning, and I can't help it. I've got to rant and rave. There's a couple of issues that's come up still. <laughs> and I just wanted to address them because <sighs> this is just BS. Okay, first of all, my friends and family who are out there that might watch this, and you know me personally, not just, just all the people out there that I've went to school with, that I have worked with, that I have worked with their family members for years. I played football with some of you people. I went to school with some of you people. I graduated with some of you people. And some of my friends that have nothing to do with the sheriff's office, besides kiss their butt, I'm calling you out. I'm calling you out. If you do not stand up for me and my moral character as a person, because I'm being dragged through the mud right now, and it's not right, all I have ever done is throw out a few curse words and you try to vilify me. Everything that was posted on Facebook, I dare you. I dare you to show me one of my comments that I curse on Facebook or use any kind of violence or initiate or, or condone any kind of violence towards anybody. I have never, ever gotten on there and disrespected a fallen officer of any kind. I don't condone it. I won't have it on my channel. And you're not going to try to use that against me. I can't control the people that post stuff on there no more than you controlled your officer that day. Yet I'm the one stepping up to apologize, sir. Me. The person whose family was slighted in this incident, sir. You know Sheriff Cassidy. I'm calling you out. You know that he broke law to do what he did. Why are you not treating him as if he was a normal citizen? Why did you not take this straight to the DA's office to see if there was something to prosecute? Why, sir? I want to know. I want to know how he found my information. You know as well as I do, he went in there and looked it up illegally, and you won't give me the proof. You know you have it. He screwed up. You need to own up, sir. You need to start doing damage control now. Because I ain't stopping. And I'm smart enough and just stupid enough to keep pushing this till the end. And there's several ways it can end, sir. And you have control of every one of them. You say that you're friends with the public defender, which is my brother. And if you hold true to that statement, sir, then you need for the respect of him. At the least, you need to apologize to my mother. Shame on you, sir. Shame on you as a person. Shame on you as a human being. Shame on you as a man. Shame on you. You and your whole department for not stepping up and doing the right thing. Shame on you, sir. Shame on you. And all my friends out there that's not going to back me and it thinks I'm just being stupid because I've used profanity, well, I'm quitting the profanity so that you people won't try to vilify me anymore because of my mouth. And I'm telling you now, if my friends don't start backing me, then you're no longer my friends. Because of what kind of friend are you when a person is in need and you're not there? You're not there. Shame on you as a friend. Shame on you. And you all know who I'm talking about. Shame on you. I have never missed an opportunity to help my friends. I have helped my friends without them even asking me. I have never ever hesitated to help anyone, anyone that has asked for my help. 
And you people out there that know me that are not backing me up, then shame on you as a human. Shame on you as a human. How can you call yourself a friend? How can you call yourself a lifelong friend? If when the person needs your help, you won't stand up for their moral character. Shame on you as a human. Shame on you as a friend. I hope the next time that I see you, that you won't be able to look me eye to eye because you know in your heart you're wrong. You are wrong. Just because I cussed a few times, you think what I'm doing is wrong, and then you tell me, well, I, you, I don't mind. I, like, I don't believe in the way you're doing it, but if it makes you happy, then keep doing it. Really? I thought your friends are supposed to support you at all. You know, no matter if you believe it or not, you're supposed to at least support me, right? Isn't that what friends are for? Isn't that the definition of a friend? What's the definition of the kind of friend you're being now? And family members, especially family members, if you all don't back me on this knowing me, shame on you. What kind of human are you? What kind of person are you? I want to know. Sorry, guys. But I'm just tore up. This is tore up. This is absolutely shameful. It's a disgrace. This should, situation should never even come close to this. All I asked for, Sheriff Cassidy, was a handshake and an apology. And that was just too easy for you, wasn't it? It was just too easy for you, wasn't it? I was willing to let it go if that's all it was. If he just had a bad day, fine, man. I get it. All I wanted was a handshake and apology. And I never have seen the man since. Or my family. Or you, for that matter. The only time I saw you, Sheriff Cassidy, is when you cowardly left out of the thing the other night. You looked at me for a split second. You would not even acknowledge me. What does that say about you as a man, sir? What does that say about you as a human? And what does that say about you as the sheriff of Sullivan County? Because you know good and well there was laws broken and you're not doing anything to try and prosecute a criminal. A criminal. And I was willing to take it as it being an isolated incident, but you lied about me, lied about that too. Maybe not you, Sheriff, personally, but there was at least two people, two people that told me that that was not like him. This was an isolated incident and nothing's ever happened. You got You guys must think I'm fucking stupid. Because I pulled his file and he's been suspended numerous times. One time that I know for a fact of misconduct. But you won't tell me what misconduct. Why not? Why not? And you lied. And on that write up, it was supposed to be his final warning for conduct. What? The really, really, he got less days off for this situation than he did for that one. Why won't you tell me what he did? Wow, tell us what did he do? What did he do to get those five days off? A year's of probation and a final warning. What'd he do? And anywhere I've ever worked, the final warning means, well, it's a final warning, right? Even though he quit not too long after that, six months after he had that write up, he just quit and then waited a few years and come back and has been back stuck in there tighter than a damn tick since. <sighs> 
I'm frustrated, buddy. But frustration doesn't stop me. Frustration just makes me stronger. <laughs> and I've told you, I've told you once, I'm going to tell you a thousand, again, a thousand times again, sorry. It's early. I'm frustrated. I've been up all damn night. I have to keep checking my cameras, man. Every time I hear one of my little alarms go off on my cameras, I get up because I'm worried that some idiot, whether he's in relation to these people in any form or not, or if he's just an idiot out there that licks that blue line. If you think about it, guys, he is a domestic terrorist. To he terrorized my family, and now we have to live in future fear. That is the true definition of terrorism. I'm telling you right now. I'm telling you right now, Sheriff. If anything else happens to my family, in the slightest, it's on. Because you've not even felt the full wrath of me yet. You think I'm a thorn in your side now, sir? Then you best, then you better do something. If you think I'm a thorn in your side now, sir, you better start doing damage control. Because you know that some of your accreditations that could be in jeopardy, you know that. That's why you're trying to sweep this shit under the rug. And it ain't going no damn where. So you best quit trying to push it with a broom and get a mop and mop up this shit. Because it's a major spill. I'm starting, I'm going to start being the quality control personnel of this county now, I guess. I didn't want to be a QC man. Never really liked QC people because they always bump my work back. <laughs> but that's what they're there for, right? Quality control, QC. And I'm now the quality control of your department, sir, because I'm going to be on you like stink on shit. You got it? I'm not going nowhere, sir. The man, after I gave him a chance for an opportunity for an easy way out, wouldn't even take it. And then two days later, he tries to, uh, to smudge my name again by having my future career that I'm trying to build. I'm trying to do stuff to get myself off of disability. I don't want to be on disability, but I am. And I've found out something now that I could possibly make another future with, another career, and he tries to shoot it down in its infancy. I'm sorry, guys, I get tongue-tied because I get so emotional, I try to speak too fast. And I'm trying to work on that too, just like the cursing. I will be the first to admit I should not have cursed people like that. I should not have. And when I have realized that, and you nice ladies at the front office can vouch for this, I admitted to my wrongdoings, did I not? I admitted to what I did wrong and I apologized to it. I manned up and I put it on camera too. I lost the footage of me actually doing it, but I admitted to it. I have owned up to it several times. The funny thing is, is I'm the only one that keeps apologizing in this situation. What the hell is wrong with that? What is wrong with that? Why am I the one apologizing? Do you people out there think this is fair? Do you family members out there of mine think this is fair? Do you friends out there of mine? Do you friends out there of mine think this is fair. I used to back the blue. I wanted to be a cop at one time. I wanted to go to the military and become a cop at one time. But a car accident took, the, took care of that in about three seconds. And I couldn't do it any longer. Couldn't, I couldn't obtain that dream of mine. So I pursued something else. And when that career had to come to an end, because I couldn't do it no more, I've tried to find another one. And I found one. And guess what? Your sheriff's office tried to put an end to that. Is that how you treat the citizens of your county, sheriff? By trying to take away their future careers? Is it? Because I think this could be a really good career for me. Because if you go look right down here, I've gotten over 4,000 subscribers in a little over two months. 
And I don't know about you all, but from what I've seen of YouTube, it's pretty damn good. And they're just growing. And there's reasons for that. People are not going to watch you if they don't like you. And if you're not any good. So I'm here to stay. This is your last chance, sir. Step up. I'm begging you. I'm begging you. Step up and show that you're a good sheriff. Because I know you are. I voted for you. I wanted Anderson the hell out of there. I have never liked Anderson. And I don't care who knows that. I voted for you, sir. I believe in you, sir. I have heard my brother give you nothing but props over the years, sir. Props all the time. And I was glad to hear it. Because that's what I want. That's what I'm here for. I'm here to find the good policing. And if you truly watch my videos, sir, if you truly watch my videos, you know I'm not about bad, I'm not about just policing. I'm about bad policing. I'm all for good cops. I've had several in my family. I've known Several over the years. I've been friends with several over the years. I wanted to be one of you guys. But this right here, this kind of shit's not the hell what I was wanting to sign on for. <clears throat> this is not what I was wanting to sign on for. And I, I tell you what, if I would have been on there right now and I would have seen this gross neglect of duty, I would have called you all on it. And I probably would have gotten fired, but I don't give a shit. I've lost many a jobs stepping up for someone else. And if you all personally know me, you know that's true too. I've always gotten myself in trouble for sticking up for somebody else, not for myself. Not for myself. So all you people out there in YouTube land, and Sheriff, I know you'll at least hear about this. I know one of your officers is probably following my YouTube channel. I know for a fact... <laughs> I know for a fact one of your officer's wives has been following my channel since before a lot of this happened. Well, actually before any of this happened. Okay? Because everybody wants to know. Everybody wants to see. So this right here is the call out. That's how I'm going to post this. It's going to be the title. The call out. I'm calling you out. I called you out down there at the end of the road, but you didn't want to have anything to do with it. I told told you down there that if you would just come talk to me, I'd put the bullhorn away and I'd go home. All I wanted you to do was set up a meeting and you wouldn't even hear me long enough to even try and set up a personal meeting with me. Are you scared of me, sir? Because I sure, I sure ain't scared of you. You're just another man like anyone at, well, this seems to be questionable at this point. You're surely not a man that I recognize. And you're not the sheriff. I don't recognize you as sheriff anymore. Even though I will still call you sheriff. Because I give you the respect that you deserve because you won that title. I voted you in. And you are my sheriff. But I don't respect you as a sheriff anymore. No, sir. No, sir. Because this is not the kind of sheriff that I grew up knowing. This is not the kind of sheriff that I grew up trying to believe in. This is not the law enforcement that I witnessed as a child. Come on, come on, Jeff. Come on, Jeff. I want to know. I want to know how he got my information and if he obtained it illegally. All right? I want to know. And if he did, it needs to be took care of. If somebody helped him, they're, they're, um, uh, what do they call it? An accomplice. There you go. I'm having a hard time getting my words this morning. If somebody helped him, then they're an accomplice. They're just as guilty as he is. I have a cousin that got in trouble because he was hanging around the wrong people and didn't do anything about it. And they get, got him in trouble for that. So, 
you person or you people out there, if anybody helped you or helped him, or if you're the one that helped him, fess up. Fess up. Because I'm going to find out. I'm going to find out if I have to go to the TBI and stand at their front door, rain, sleet, or snow, till they look at this. I've already left messages and stuff. So you best start fessing up. Because it's going to come to a head. And it may not have happened. I want to give you guys the benefit of the doubt. Like I have from the start. But when I've given you that benefit, you've done nothing but throw it in the damn mud. You've thrown it in the mud. What kind of sheriff's department do you are you running, sir? All I wanted was an apology. All I wanted to know was the facts and the truth. And I have sure as shit to get any of that. None. I've already proven you to those other two officers who I spoke to. I've already proven you wrong. I've already proven you liars. You're a liar. Because you told me he's never had an incident before. His file right here says different. The man tried to impersonate an officer by using an invalid ID that he still kept that he shouldn't have had. And I can't find the files on it because it was so far back. That was in 2000. Why did he quit the first time? What was the write-up he had got suspended for for the first time? For conduct. You say that's not in his character to have misconduct. Well, bull, I'm calling you on it. It's in his file. Oh, you think I'm stupid? Do you think I don't know how to make public records requests? Except you don't give me the part that I need to know, of course. Because it's lawyer material or whatever crap. Shame. It's a shame. It's a shame. It's a shame that something, something, something this simple has had to go this far. It's laughable, almost. It's laughable because I'm not scared. I'm scared for my family, and my family are scared. My daughters are scared. Thank you, sir. Thank you for not protecting my family. That's the way a sheriff of a county is supposed to be. Supposed to be. Don't worry about your citizens. You know, you got one of your officers stalking one of them, but yeah, it's all right. Just give him five, a couple of days off. Oh, that wasn't even five days, was it? That was for his first suspension, right? This was three days off this time. He can do something. Oh, and there's another. He's got suspended for illegally releasing an inmate. What? Whatever the hell that means. Sounds like some kind of clerical error. Well, he got 20 days off for that. 20 days! You give a man 20 days for doing some kind of screw up inside the jail, but he can go off the clock, follow a man to his, go to a man's home, and threaten the man and his family, and you just give him three days off? That's a damn disgrace. That means that you don't give a shit about me and my family. You give a shit about clerical, clerical errors or whatever the hell the mistake was that he did to illegally release an inmate. That's all on my last video. Go check it out, guys. I put that personnel file stuff out there. You can see it. I'm just tired. I'm tired of ranting now. I'm tired. Sheriff, is what it all comes out to. I'm calling you out for the last time. Please do the right thing. Please investigate this and start investigating this as if he was any other criminal because he did criminal acts and you know it. You flat out know it. And I don't know why you're so damn worried like this is election year or something because ain't nobody running against you anyway. You can't lose. So quit worrying about your damn campaign and take care of your department.
I don't know how you can go out and start looking your citizens and continue looking. Let me ask you this, Jeff. Did that, is this how your mama taught you to treat people? Is this the respect, the morals that your mother set forth in you as a child? I owned up to my mistakes. I have apologized to my mistakes on camera. Right? You have yet to even make this public announcement other than trying to put a smear campaign on your Facebook channel because you got pissed because there was people that follows me and other people that watch YouTube that got on there who just likes to rant and rave sometimes and it's their God-given right to do that. And it made you mad. So you try to use them to smear my name. Shame on you, sir. Shame on you as a human. And I hope your mama's watching this. Jeff Cassidy, I hope your mama is watching this. Whether she's alive or dead, she's watching you, Jeff. Is this how you treat other people? Is this how she raised you? Is this how she believed in you? Is this what she wanted for you? Shame on you, sir. Shame on you. Shame on you in your mother's name. You need to take care of this. I'm not going away.